So a lot of the reasons our parental relationships are so triggering, we formed our belief systems based on, you know, we're little sponges when we're kids, based on what those around us did, you know, and it's not what they said because we're actually electromagnetic first and foremost and physical secondary. So our electromagnetic systems absorb our parents' alignment. So if your mom's like, no, I'm totally happy, everything's fine. But inside she's like, I hate myself, I can't stand my body, I'm not good enough. You're gonna pick up on those messages and that electromagnetic signal. Now you go forward through life and you're like, I wanna have an amazing life. Oh wait, you can't have that, you're not good enough, right? Your electromagnetics are in the old imprint. It's a blueprint and it's triggering your brain function like I remember one time after college, I had this job and I was a very smart person, but I was so abused by my boss that I just kept making all these really, really crazy mistakes. And I'm like, I must be so stupid. I must have slipped through the cracks and made it through college. I am clearly imposter. I am clearly not good enough. And it brought up all these levels, right? So I could look at them and either buy in further because now I'm a conscious adult or dump it and say, I'm releasing this, I'm going beyond this. None of this is true for me. So it was a really beautiful moment for me to look and welcome the experience instead of making myself wrong and be willing to just dump it. But the reason this is so triggering is now we grow up. I wanna have an amazing life. I wanna have an amazing lover. And these electromagnetic signals, they are energy. Literally, we're like, mm, you can't have that. Oh, why don't you go for that guy? He's going to cheat on you. Oh, why don't you go for that guy? He's a compulsive liar. Like, this was me and my system. And it was heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak until I looked at this and said, the common denominator in all of these, quote, failed relationships is me. And how can I meet myself more fully and meet my pain and meet my fear and meet my inadequacy so that I break the spell? Because when you meet and presence those energies, they're no longer unconsciously running your field. Literally, your presence is that powerful and healing. So if you find you're living the same patterns over and over, I never seem to make more than such and such dollars a year. I never seem to have relationships that are really awesome. Oh, I never seem to feel really, really good and healthy. Look at this. Hey, what's the blueprint I've been living under? What would it take for me to expand beyond this? And then practice this be, do, have. Take one to five minutes a day to literally let yourselves drink in the essence of what you're asking for. What you're asking for. I want to have wealth and joy and people that really love me and accept me. Okay, let yourselves drink it in. What does that feel like? Because that's what dissolves those residues we picked up from our upbringing. That's why it can be so triggering. It's actually triggering because we're meant to go beyond it because your little heart desires something way beyond that. So say yes. If you desire it, it means 100%. It means it does already exist for you.